Hi guys, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to the session of Equal Connect Coach and in this session we are going to discuss one of the problem statement in which I am going to find out how many bits are set for the given number. So let's understand this problem what exactly we are going to solve over here in this video. So let's say for example I have given one number and in this number you have to tell me how many number of bit are set. So how many number of bits set over here so you can see only the one bit is set so output should be one okay so if i will give the number as seven okay then output should be three why three because the binary conversion in the binary conversion the three bits are set so the output is three in a similar way if i will give the another uh, number then you need to give the count of one in a number okay so that is the thing you have to do and that is the problem statement which we are going to solve in this session so let's begin so guys <coughs> there are two ways or i can say that there are four ways but out of four ways i am going to uh, solve or i am going to discuss over here only two methods rest of the two methods i am going to discuss in the next video okay so the very first method which every will think okay so using the while loop however second method also is based upon the while loop but <coughs> second method is more efficient than this method okay so i will first discuss the uh, less efficient method which is called as a method one okay so what exactly i am going to do whatever the number uh, will be provided as an input that number uh, i am going to do over here uh, while loop and in the while loop what i am going to do uh, let's say for example my number is n and what exactly i am going to do over here n should be greater than zero okay and whenever my um, mode is uh, uh, mode is uh, equal to equal to zero or sorry uh, not equal to zero then only i am going to increment the counter okay and counter is nothing but there is even one variable okay which tells that uh, count or i can say that it will uh, count the set bit so that is what i am going to do over here and after that what i am going to do every time n uh, divided by two so this is what i am going to do in the very first method so what exactly happened over here so 8 8 divided by 2 so 4 4 divided by 2 <coughs> and then over here it will be 2 2 divided by 1 and then 1 then the, when this re, this condition will reach then this becomes zero because n is integer over here n is integer so it will take the only integer value so n becomes zero over here so this condition will get false and the counter will be your four uh, sorry uh, counter will be your only in this case only it is going to increment so the counter will be one so this is how i am going to uh, calculate or this is how i am going to uh, get the count of set bit okay so this is my first method and this is uh, less efficient and every time uh, it is going to divide and <laughs> it will get the count okay but instead of that i have more efficient way which is nothing but in this method also i will use the while loop but it is little bit better than the my this method okay so what exactly what i am going to do over here i am going to take one while loop okay and number uh, number should not be uh, i can say that uh, zero or not equal to zero okay this should not be not equal to zero or i will simple uh, make it is like this and then what i am going to do i am going to do n n and n minus one and then i'm going to do the count plus plus okay so this is what i'm doing I'm going to do so how exactly this will get execute so this will get execute so let's say for example i have given the number eight so eight is nothing but one zero zero correct so 
I need to do the end operation. Correct. So end operation is nothing but let me repeat or let me recall what exactly the end operation is. So let's say for example 0 0 0 and uh, <coughs> I have given over here uh, 1 1 1. So how, how, what exactly the end operation? End operation is nothing but when both the bit are set then only then it, it is going to give the 1 otherwise it won't. So over here both the bit are set as 1 so it will give 1 0 0 0. Okay. So this is nothing but your end operation. I hope you remember in your childhood you have read what exactly the end operation. Now let me come back over here on this operation. So <coughs> n is what 8. 8 means this is the uh, binary representation and this is what I am going to do n minus 1 means 7 7 binary representation is nothing but your over here this one correct so if I will do the end of this so what exactly I am going to do I am going to get the 0 because all the 0 0 so what it will be over here it will set only one and the uh, loop rain only one time but in the my previous method which is nothing but this one uh, method one uh, while n should be zero so over here if my n mode of uh, not equal to zero and then counter plus plus in this method how many times my uh, for loop uh, run four times and over here only one time so this is the more efficient way rather than this one so this is my method one m1 and this is my method two okay but the guys <coughs> both uh, method method one and method two will be equivalent when all bits are set over here so let's say for example over here I have taken one number or I have passed one number in which all the bits are set. So maybe what I can take over here. So uh, four, 1 1 1 okay 4 4 1 which is nothing but your 15. So in the 15 case this method this my uh, this method I will write it like that only over here and this this is nothing but your method 2 okay which is nothing but your and n minus 1 okay so how exactly both the method is going to work over here so in this both the method both uh, the performance wise both are equivalent if my all the bits are set and if one of the bit is not set then this is the best method so always I will recommend go with this one now let's understand how uh, both the methods are equivalent in case of all the bit set. So uh, if I will talk about over here 15, so 15 minus uh, 1 which is nothing but your 14 correct. So uh, 15 and 14. So over here what I can write over here uh, 1 0 correct. So if I will do the end operation then this is nothing but your 0 1 1 1 correct now this is nothing but your 14 correct this is uh, nothing but your uh, 15 this is 14 correct now uh, i need to do the end operation with the 13 so 13 is nothing but your 1 and uh, this is your 8 correct 8 plus 4 yes uh, yes so uh, 1 0 Correct. So this is what you need to do the in 13, 13 conversion this one. So this is 0, 0, 1, 1. Now this is nothing but your 8. Okay. And this is nothing but your this one. So this is your 12. Correct. 12, 12 minus 1, which is nothing but your 11. 11 is nothing but your 1. And uh, then mm, this, uh, this is 0 and this is 1. Correct. So this is nothing but your 11. Now this is what 0 0 0 and 1. Okay. Now this is what 8 8 8 minus 1 which is nothing but your 7. So if I will do the 7 then uh, 7 is what 0 1 1. So this is become 0. So in case in this case also my loop is running how many times? four times and in this case also the loop is running four times so that is the reason it is both 
the methods are equivalent i hope you have understood in what case uh, this method is efficient and in which case this method is okay okay and acceptable okay guys so i hope you have understood uh, how you can uh, count the uh, number of set bit in a given number okay guys so let's go for the practical example in which we are going to write the program and we will see the practical output okay guys so guys let's see the practical example of my both the method method 1 and method 2 so as you can see on the your screen this is my function 1 which is for my method 1 and this is not efficient as compared to my method 2 okay and this is the function i have written for my method 2 which is efficient as compared to the this one okay so let's discuss both the function what exactly i have done over here so it's very clear and very straightforward not that much complex logic over here so i have taken one counter variable and i have used over here one if condition in order to handle one of the test case which is nothing but your when the number is zero then i wanted to return from over here only i do not want to go over here okay so that is the test case i want to handle so that is the reason i have taken this if condition after that what i have done i have taken one while loop and i am keep on executing till the number is greater than zero okay and i am incrementing the counter when mode of 2 is not equal to 0 till uh, or I can say that in that condition I am incrementing the counter okay and after that what I am doing I am do dividing the number uh, by 2 every time so this is how you can get the uh, set bit in a number okay and ultimately I am returning the count of set bit so this is how you can uh, get the uh, set bit in the uh, any number now uh, this is my second method method 2 uh, which is efficient as compared to my method 1 and the only difference over here is I am doing the end operation rather than the executing this logic okay so this is the only difference and as you can see on the your screen uh, I am doing the number and number minus 1 so that operation I am doing over here. Okay. So I hope you have understood how exactly this uh, uh, function will get executed. So let me uh, execute this uh, function and let me show you the result over here. So I am passing over here 0, 0 in both the function. So let me see the output what exactly it will come. So I hope it will give the 0, 0. So you can see over here it, we, it is giving the 0, 0. Now if I will pass over here 7. 7 okay then it should give the 3 3 okay so definitely it will going to give the 3 3 so you can see on the your screen it is giving the 3 3 if i will pass over here 8 then uh, what would be the your answer or i can say that result so it will be 1 okay so you can see on the your screen now interviewer can ask uh, this question in a different way which is nothing but uh, give me the count of unset bit so how you can give that you have to tell me in the comment box it's a very simple and you can assume that it's a 32 bit operating system okay and you need to give me answer uh, for the same okay guys so i hope you have understood what exactly this function and how you can write it and how you can crack the interview thank you so much watching for the video bye bye take care